Even in a country ravaged by years of drug cartel-fueled violence, it was a shocking scene in Mexico three years ago. A baby-faced American teenager accused of working as an assassin for the South Pacific drug cartel was paraded in front of reporters. Edgar Jimenez Lugo was just 14 years old when this video was filmed. Jimenez Lugo is known by the nickname El Ponchis. He laid out gruesome details of his life in organized crime. ¿Cuántos ejecutaste, dices? Uh, cuatro. Jimenez Lugo said he was 11 years old when he started killing and slit the throats of four victims himself. He also said drug cartel leaders picked him off the street and forced him into carrying out the assassinations and that he was high on drugs when he killed cartel rivals. El Ponchis was convicted as a juvenile and sentenced to three years in prison. Now he's 17 and was released from prison Tuesday in Mexico. News cameras captured the release. He was quickly deported back to the United States, flown to San Antonio, Texas, where he disappeared back into American society. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officials say they helped facilitate his return, but say privacy laws prohibit the agency from releasing more details. El Ponchis was born in San Diego. He's a U.S. citizen. He served his prison sentence and does not face any criminal charges in the United States, so he's free to move around like anyone else. El Ponchis isn't the only American teenager lured into this violent world. CNN told the notorious stories of two American drug cartel assassins in exclusive jailhouse interviews a few months ago. In all, how many people did you kill? I have no idea. No idea? <laughs> you lost track? I guess so. Gabriel Cardona is serving a life sentence in Texas. He and a childhood buddy, Rosalio Reta, worked as assassins for the infamous Zetas drug cartel as teenagers. Their stories highlighted the frightening trend of cartel leaders luring young kids with the promise of money and power to carry out the cartel's dirty work. The first day I had to take somebody's life, that's a day I'm never going to be able to forget. Because after that, I didn't have no life. Reta and Cardona are locked away for life. But the kid known as El Ponchis is getting a second chance. When the young man known as El Ponchis landed here in San Antonio, we're told that he was turned over to an aunt and that he'll spend time in a rehabilitation center. But it's not exactly clear where that will be. State Child Protective Services here in Texas say they are not handling his case. And many people will be watching closely to see if this young man returns to a world of violent crime. Aaron.